Welcome to Smoke Your Ribs, I'm Russ Jones. In today's video, I'm gonna be using and firing up the Master Belt 560 Gravity Fed Series Smoker. We're gonna be doing chicken wings. I'm not gonna cut these wings up, we're going whole with them. We're doing a Caribbean style. We're gonna get started right after this. So to start this cook, I'm gonna go ahead and make a blue cheese dressing. I wanna do this initially because it's got to go back in the fridge and let those flavors marry and all come together to make it really good. So you start off with one cup of mayo. This container I'm using is 16 ounces, so I'll be using half of that. And into that, we got one cup of sour cream going in. And into that, we got three quarter of a cup of buttermilk. All right, so I'm using a garlic press. Going to push in about three or four cloves of garlic. By the way, when you use one of these garlic presses, you do not have to peel them. See there? It'll squeeze the garlic right through there. I'm going to go in with about a half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of dry mustard, about a half a teaspoon of salt, and about a half a teaspoon of sugar. Going in with a whole teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Going to give all this a really good mix. Then we're going to add the blue cheese. So I'm going to be using this blue Stilton blue cheese. I'm going to use my box grater and we're just going to grate this up. Oh, I've got to taste this. Mm. Oh man, that's good. Looks like a lot of cheese going in here, but hey, that's what we need. So hey, if you don't like blue cheese, I personally absolutely love it. It is my favorite. It's also my choice for salads but I love dipping these hot wings into this. But you could go with whatever you like. All right, so that's looking really good. We're gonna put a cover on this, pop it in the fridge and just let it hang out until we're ready for it. Take a look at this pile of meat. I've got quite a few chicken wings here, probably about 20 wings, and uh, that should feed everybody here. And I am not going to cut these this time I'm, I'm gonna just do them whole just like that for simplicity reasons and uh everything about it's just gonna make it easier also i got these hot beef sausages going on i got three packs of them so basically let me show you real quick how i'm gonna season these up then i will not bore you with the whole process all right i'm gonna take a couple of these wings i'm just gonna do these two right here i'll show you exactly how i'm gonna do all of them so I'm using some duck fat. This fat is going to help the browning of these and it's also gonna be a binder for the rub we're using. Plus duck fat carries all kind of great flavors. Now the seasoning I'm going with, since these are hot wings, is this Smoky Habanero from Heaven Made Products. Smells insane, it's gonna go great on chicken. So you know the rest. We got our binder on there. Just gonna season this, not too heavy. About like you would do salt and pepper. So that's what we're doing. I'll get the rest of these done. I'll meet you outside. So I have used the master belt a few times already, just playing around with it, trying to figure it out, you know, new pit. And uh, I still had half a load of charcoal in here. So I just went ahead and brought the charcoal on up kind of close to the top. Not that I'm gonna need near all that, 
but uh, just for good measure. It's not hurting anything. You can shut this thing down anytime, and uh, when you do that, it'll put the fire out so your charcoal's ready for the next go around, and that's what I've done. Now, I'm not gonna do a walk around on this pit. I'm not gonna show you anything because there's some really good videos already out there doing exactly that. And the one that comes to my mind is Jack's Drink Water. Jax does a, a thorough walk around on his master belt 560 so I encourage you if you want to see all the bells and whistles and everything this thing can do to go over there and check his video out I'll have a link in the description box I'll also have a link for his channel now Jax he does some amazing recipes he's always thinking outside the box and I thoroughly enjoy watching all his videos I don't miss any of them you never know what he's going to come up with but it's always good, it's, it always looks appetizing, and he's very thorough on his videos as well, so please check him out. He's actually been in a couple of my videos, and uh, he lives right there in Mobile, Alabama, so we get together every now and then, and hopefully we'll be, we'll be doing that again before long. So uh, please go over there and check Jax out and tell him Russ from Smoky Rev sent you. Master Belt showing 330 degrees, so it's about five degrees more than I got it set, but it pings palm back and forth, you know, kind of like a pellet grill, but it's a closer range than most pellet grills. Most pellet grills, and they can have a 25, 30 degree swing in any direction. I've yet to see this one do that. Usually it's five up, five down. Now you might notice this probe here. I am monitoring this with a separate thermometer just to make sure, you know, new pit, you wanna make sure everything's doing what it's supposed to do. All right, we're gonna close her up, let it start getting a head start. We'll put that sausage on momentarily. All right, we have been going about hour and 15 minutes. I hadn't really been paying attention time, but I have been looking at them. Now, I initially started this at 325 degrees. It didn't take me long to figure out that that's entirely too hot for this pit. Now, what I've done was dropped it down to 250. I'm probing out about, or temping out at about 182 degrees, 185, somewhere in there. So these are typically done, but I did just increase the temperature to 310 just to crisp up this skin. It's looking really good. Even though the fire is over here in this chute, you got the extreme hot air being forced right up under through this manifold. So it's similar to direct cooking, even though it's indirect. And uh, 325 was just entirely too hot for greasy chicken, especially from the get go. So a lot of the fat's done rendered out and uh, not an issue at all. So it's just a matter of getting to know this pit. Now I did add the sausages earlier. I had them across here. I didn't show that. They're all done. They're already pre-smoked, pre-cooked. Just mainly had to heat them up. So I put them all together just to keep them hot in this foil. And uh, we'll meet you inside here in a few minutes. I still want to crisp the skin up a little bit more than what we got. And I'm not going to do it by standing here talking with the lid open. So probably another 10, 15 minutes. I'll see you inside. All right, now we're gonna make a couple of sauces here to toss these wings in. I'm gonna start with a stick of butter. I bought these in half sticks. We're gonna let that melt. So once our butter fully melts, I'm gonna be taking this El Yucateco Caribbean hot sauce. This is not a sponsored video for anyone. Like I mentioned earlier, they sent me all these sauces, so I want to use them. And uh, the smells really good. I know the flavor is gonna be killer. Now I'm doing two different sauces for two different heat levels. We're starting with this one. This is gonna be the milder of the two and I'll show you later what I got planned for the other one. All right, so that's four ounces of butter. We're going in with four ounces of hot sauce, which is the entire bottle. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn my fire off. You don't have to cook this. You're just, you know, you do have to melt the butter and you're adding in your hot sauce. You wanna get a good blend on these. All right, so for this other sauce, same thing. We're going in with four ounces of butter. I've got the half sticks. Let that melt. So in this sauce, 
one ounce this is fire water man this will blow your head off i'm telling you extremely hot one ounce of that to three ounces of the louisiana hot sauce i want the flavor from louisiana hot sauce it's one of my favorite hot sauces as far as flavor goes so definitely using that along with just pure fire or to call this satan sauce or something like that butter is not completely melted but it's getting there we're going to go ahead and you can see the fire water right there towards the bottom that's the thick sauce so I've transferred the El Yucateco Caribbean hot sauce mixed with the butter into a bowl. And the way I'm doing this, like I said earlier, I did not cut these wings like you typically would with drumettes or whatnot. So we're just going to toss them, turn them in this sauce. And from here, I've got another bowl they're going into. Now the majority of these are going to be coated with this sauce. And I've got a few held back for that, that fire water. All right, I'm mixing this sauce up a little bit right before we go in. I'm using the same bowl, very little of the other sauce in there to influence anything. And it really isn't going to matter, man. This is going to be so stinking hot. I, I love that myself. I know a lot of you don't. That's the reason I'm only doing a few compared to what I did earlier. Give these a good toss around, make sure they get good and coated. But I do smell that Louisiana hot sauce coming through, and I love the flavor of that. All right, I hope I can tolerate it. Well, we're fixing to find out. All right, let me put this on a board, a few of these, and uh, be right back. We're going to do a taste. All right, it is time to do a taste. And in case you didn't see it, which I know you didn't, that is the... Uh, the beef sausages like I said earlier they're fully cooked just have to basically reheat them we did apply more smoke to them let's try that they're still piping hot hmm Ooh, juicy hmm that is super juicy look at that that's some killer sausage I believe I'm going with one of the mild, milder wings to start with. Because I know once I bite into one of these, game over. Alright, here we go. That skin has got a really, really, really nice bite through. Mm. The heat level on this is just perfect for most people. Got a little burn at the back end. Nothing severe, nothing bad. They are hot wings after all. Fantastic flavor. Mm. That actually has a little bit more heat than what I was expecting. That's one of the milder ones that El Yucateco makes, but it's got a nice heat level. All right, now for the insanity wing. Here we go. Maybe it's not too bad. Uh, here goes nothing. It's not as hot as what I was expecting. That sauce by itself will blow your head off, man. I'm telling you. I take and just put little droplets on my tacos and it just lights me up. Now, with that said, whoo, yeah, here it comes. God, I'm sweating now, people. Oh, I love it, though hurts so good another bite of that mm. if you're after the heat go with that if you're after the really good flavor great taste wings with some heat go with this excellent I mean fantastic that El Yucateco Caribbean I know it would be good all right now we have got to try I'm going to do it with the hot one since I've already started on it. We have got to try the blue cheese dressing here. I'm not going to double dip, y'all. Just one good taste. That is such a fantastic dip. We're fixing to chow down on this stuff. This is what I call good eats. Got a whole bunch of cold beer in here. Got a bunch of hot wings in front of me. Some of them screaming hot in front of me. 
Got some beef sausages, which are also hot. Oh boy, I feel I feel sorry for me tomorrow. <laughs> All right, until next time, smoke your ribs.